Okay, um, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Foxon, and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Season 6, Episode uh, 11, called Mixie in the Middle. So, um, first off, sorry I had a porn phone call that I forgot about that I was calling. Anyway, I gave the last episode a plus. It was really good. The fight scenes were really good. Anyway, really good plot line. So, anyway, so we're going to, um, like I said, Season 6, Episode 11, where Kari and Mixley saved each other. And, um... They leave, uh, Nixley. And so, um, Nixley tells them in song about basically the Allstone and how it banished Jared, and then now there's totems. So, um, Jared's crystal. <laughs> so, uh, Jared is a crystal. So then we cut to where Mixley is on um, the last in the bloodline, and we cut to where Nia has an idea to depower Nixley. So Nia has a dream, and Brainy knows that she's lying, and she finally tells the truth, and he doesn't blame her at all, and uh, to tell Car, but she won't. So we go to Fortune Bay, where Andrea calls her and um, wants to help her, and uh, we cut to where people are freaking out when she mentioned her mom's name. Uh, this is um, Lena. So, people literally freak out, and first like, oh, hi, Mrs. Luther, are you here for business or pleasure? She's like, oh, I'm trying to find my mom, and gave her my mom's name, and I was like, oh, you gotta go, by the way, we ever booked, okay, bye-bye. So, um, <laughs> I don't, it was so really, it was really, really weird. And, um, and her name is Elizabeth Walsh, that was mom's name. And then, um... Basically, this other woman tells her to go and calls her a dirty witch. So, what? And we cut to where, um, basically, um, Nixley has got stripped of her powers and she needs an amulet to, uh, get it back. And then we go to Corto Montes where Mitch is pissed at Nixley and he leaves. Then Mixie helps Alex, but not really. And then Alice is like, why don't you go try to help so-and-so? And then she overhears her saying to him uh, that, um, you know, he's not great. <laughs> and so he feels a little bit sad. Then Lena talks to the waitress and the same response with the mom. And then we cut to where um, her mom is gone because of Elizabeth. Then there's info, and basically that her her mom used to be with a bunch of witches, and that they're villains, and we then we cut to where Brainy had a fail, then Mixley wants to help, and Brainy's being rude to Mixie. Then Nixley is downtown, and there's a giant cat running around. Then we cut to where Dreamer and Brainy um, and Supergirl handle it, and then Nixley is um, there. And she's like, you have two hours to give me Mixie at the park or else. Then Lena calls Andrea and they found a woman. And then, um, basically Lena's pretty much done. And so Andrea helps her power through to, um, follow through and see what happened. Then we cut to where Nia's being irrational. And then Mixie copied himself. and But that didn't last long because uh, Nixley's is all right through that. Then Nia finally comes clean to Kara. And she's not mad at all and has an idea. Then Lena found a location. And this woman named Florence has been waiting for her. And you need a drop of uh, blood. And basically uh, Liz Elizabeth was a prodigy. But magic got away from them. And they had to hide. And they're trying to protect Margaret because of, I guess, her husband was not a nice guy. So they handled him. So he's no longer around. And then we cut to where um, this lady Florence is proud of Lena. And, but um, we cut to where the cuff is done uh, from Nixley. Yeah. And then Nia uses her image inducer. And they try it. And it's failing. But... It did kind of work because um, um, it did get trapped and Mixie stopped it. Then our car tries to make her see reason. That's a huge no. The bracelet's on and then they got left on the ship. And then Lena has the gift, which Lena's like, <coughs> excuse me, bless me. What? I have the gift. Then we cut to Mitch save um, Mix, no, Nixley. And then he has a ton of courage and you saw it. And that was the end of the episode. It was a really good episode. I really enjoyed it. I gave it an A+. 
I mean, overall, it was just a really good episode. The storyline and everything was good. Um, but my only thing is, we're starting to get away from Kara's story and trying to branch out other people's stories, which I think is kind of messed up because this is the last season of the show. That's my only gripe. But anyway, I think that was a really good episode, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.